Good morning, kindergarten. Today's word dictation is for Thursday, April 16th. I hope you looked at our PowerPoint for words to read so you are prepared to now write these words. You read them, now you're ready to write. Our first word is going to be state. So let's go ahead and write our number one on a piece of paper. I'm using marker and a board because it's easier to see on the camera, but I would really like you using a pencil, practicing holding your pencil with the correct grip and writing it on paper with best handwriting. So the word was state. Let's go ahead and tap out state. S-t-a-t, state. And I'm hearing a long vowel in that word. Are you hearing that as well? So that tells me that silent E is going to be at the end because it makes a short vowel long. Go ahead and pause the video and write the word state now. All right, kindergarten, the word was state. Our state is Colorado. So now we're gonna write state on our board. S T a T E. So hopefully you have that on your paper. S T A T E. State. If you have all the correct letter sounds, give yourself a check. If you forgot silent E or you mixed up your letters, now's the time to drop a line and fix it up. Remember, you learn from your mistakes. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. My number two is done. All set. All right. Your next word is felt. I felt scared. I felt happy. All right, that is our word. Let's go ahead and tap it out. E -l -t, felt. Go ahead and pause the video and write your word on your paper, and then we'll check it together once you unpause. All right, guys, the word was felt. F E L T. Felt. All right, if you have all the correct letter sounds and they're facing the correct direction, give yourself a check. Five, four, three, two, one. My number three is done. Oh, this is not quite like our classroom board now, is it? All right, our next word is froze. I froze in place. Let's go ahead and tap it out. Er, oh, s, froze. Now that kind of sounded interesting, didn't it? It sounds like s, but it's actually a z. All right, so we are going to tap that out one more time. Froze. Er, oh, Z froze. So I have to make sure we're making the correct sounds. I almost just made an air right there. Go ahead and pause and write the word froze now on your paper. All right, guys, you spell froze. F R O Z E. Now the reason they have silent E is because the O is saying its name. F R O Z. If you have all the correct letters down, give yourself a check. All right, our next word is ship. Actually, we're going to make it ships, more than one. Ships. All right, let's go ahead and tap it out. Ships. Ships. More than one ship. And a ship is like a big boat that carries a lot of people or carries a lot of cargo and a lot of materials from one place to another. Go ahead and write ships on your paper now. All right, guys, hopefully you paused the video so you're able to check your work with me. The word was ships. Shh, that diagram. I, p, s, and then I'm going to put the S at the end to show more than one. All right, guys, we should be done with our words. Now we're going to write a complete sentence. Our sentence needs us to have a capital at the beginning, finger spaces throughout, and punctuation at the end. Your sentence is, I like my state. We live in Colorado. I like it. I hope you like it, too. Let's go ahead and count out the words. I like my state. How many words is that? Four word sentence. All right, and since I really like Colorado, I really like where we live, I'm gonna do Zoom Pal exclamation for my punctuation today. Show excitement. I like my state. So I'm gonna start with capital I, and then finger space, like. I like you, you like me. I spell like L I K E. I like my. M Y spells my. My state. S T A T. And then our silent E. I like my state. And I can use my resources to help me if I forgot how to write that word or I made a mistake, I can look back up here to check it out. And that exclamation to show excitement. I like my state. It makes sense to me, does it make sense to you? If it doesn't, this is your time to fix your sentence. If you're up for a challenge, I would love for you now to take time to write rhyming words that match the words we already wrote, like state, date. Felt, belt, froze, hose, ships, chips. Those are all rhyming words and you could write them right next to your word or come up with your own rhyming words. 
Um, you can also illustrate, maybe you could draw Colorado. Remember Colorado is like a rectangle and you could label that state. Um, but take a picture of it, send it to me so I know you're participating. Awesome job today.